Hello YouTube! We've seen that the claims many Muslims make regarding the Quran are somewhat far-fetched. They are so stupendous that they simply scream out to be verified. Today I will look at the very simple word, the word AND. In Arabic, this is what it looks like. It is a conjunction which usually indicates a connection or addition of elements. It is considered to be bad writing style to begin a sentence with the word AND. Let us see how the Quran handles this issue. If we look at different verses, we see that AND actually appears quite often at the beginning of a sentence. Here there's the AND, and 3 and 4, and then the next one again at the beginning of the sentence and if we jump to the next one we can see that again it starts with AND. The one below it also does. Not very good style. So let's see how the English version handles it. And we see AND, 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 AND all the time at the beginning of a sentence. Many of those. And this is supposed to be good writing style? Whoa, hang on, what do we have here? Just now it said AND and here we see or let me verify this let me let me go back to another version and let take here's the and and going down here again and three and four it says and i don't quite understand what this new in red means but i'm, I'm sure it has a meaning let me go to yet another version here's the and at the beginning then we have the and three and four Again, in the sentence, it says, and the va. And yet, if we look at the translation, it says, or three, or four. And then again, in the translation, it says, or three, or four. Let's take a look at the tabs here and see if they can help us. Here it says, two, or three, or four. Then a little bit further down, again, or restrict yourself to what your right hand owns. All the time it's or three or four. Wow, but now I'm really confused. Let me go and check in the word for word version, which also gives you an explanation of the grammar. So in other words, it tells you what kind of a word it is. So if we look at the the, the, the same verse and we take a look at the words, on the right hand side we see whether it's a preposition, whether it's a conjunction, whether it's a noun and we, we can see exactly what each word means. So if I take a look at the uh, words in question, I can see that wa is and. It's a prefix conjunction underneath as well. Wa and the Arabic is the same. So if I go to the translation, it says or three or four, even though the Arabic says and three and four. Wow, this is difficult. What is this? Uh, let me take a look at the word again. This is the word or, and this is the word or as it is written in Arabic. So it is distinctively different. You cannot mistake the two. If I go and enter the word or into the Google Translate, I see that there is a version which is actually or in Arabic. So what I'm trying to do now is change this to and, and it actually changes. So the words and and or are different the same way as they are in, I suppose, every other language. And now let, let me look at different translations because there, there must be a mistake here. So if we see a, ah, the, the va, then it is translated as or and sometimes here it is translated as and. Looking down the various translations, because I've got a site now which I think has 15 different translations, I can see that sometimes it's translated as or and sometimes it's translated as and. So it seems that even the translators are not quite sure of how to translate it, whether they should take the literal translation or whether they should take the translation that is prescribed by Islam, and that is that you're only allowed to marry four women. So then it wouldn't make sense to have uh, 2 plus 3 plus 4, which would make 9 wives. So <laughs> I think it's a matter of an interpretation and not translation. Here we see that it is in fact taken as AND, and this seems to be the honest translation and not the interpretation. So I'm starting to understand. 
Muslims are adjusting reality to what their book should say, even if it does not. What I observed when researching the scientific miracles is emerging even clearer here. What is not allowed to be, will not be, to the extent that entire translations are modified to match the desired result. Just like Musiyun is adjusted to mean expanded instead of vast, the word and is adjusted to mean or, because after all you're not allowed four wives and not nine. Now the statement made by a Quran teacher in the Islamic forum last month made some sense, because he casually said, we see the word as meaning or here. So even if the Quran makes a factual mistake here, Muslims will never accept it as it is not allowed to be. So if we read the ayah, if ye fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphans, marry women of your choice, two or three or four, but if ye fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with them, then only one, or a captive that your right hand possesses, that will be more suitable to prevent you from doing injustice. Hmm. There are some things I need to point out here. What do orphans have to do with the women? Orphans are children without both parents, so you can't say a man marries the mother of orphaned children. Muslims are automatically assumed to know about who the women the right hand possesses are. Slaves. Female slaves. How can a Muslim marry up to four women if he is able to handle them justly, when just a few ayat later the Quran clearly states that ye are never able to be fair and just as between women? even if it is your ardent desire. If I substitute the and with an or, I have just created an ayah not only like in the Quran, but a better one, as this is one without error. So that puts pay to all the claims that you cannot create a surah or verse like in the Quran. Is this really a book written by a god, or is this a clear indication that the Quran was written by humans? Thank you for your time.